<laughs> Ready for this one, guys? The RVB 95X Echo SP Darts Review begins right now. What's up guys, Worldwide here. We got a great video for you today. Come on, you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail, and you gotta admit, I am bringing you guys the fire here on this channel. Yesterday, just yesterday, we had the Phil Taylor Gen 9 darts review, and by the way, I'm giving a brand new set of those away. Make sure you get into the giveaway video if you haven't already. And then today, brand new RVB darts. I mean, come on, it doesn't get too much better than this. No, but to be honest with you guys, the real reason I'm uploading this review video today is I just got done watching Raymond Van Barneveld play Simon Whitlock at the PDC Grand Slam. What an epic match. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. You can probably find it somewhere on YouTube. But spoiler alert, RVB ended up winning that match. And yeah, what a shootout it was between both of the players. Matter of fact, Raymond was using this exact set of darts. So, hey, I figured... Now is a perfect time to do the darts review on these things, so I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. Let's grab the other camera. We'll do a quick unboxing. I'll go over all the stats and dimensions. Then after that, I'll show you the Swiss point system, how easily it is to switch out points. After that, I'll talk about the grip, and then straight to the board, I'll throw these things, and while I'm throwing them, I'm going to give you some feedback on what I think of the brand new Target RVB 95X Echo SP Darts. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so let's take a look at the new RVB packaging. And you know what? I probably should have looked this up, but I don't recall. Did the last generation of darts have this fold open tab here? I just, I don't think they did. But anyway, regardless, these do. We've got some nice pictures on the inside, on the back, picture of the dart, and these do come 21, 23, or 25 grams. However, in the next clip, the stats and dimensions, I do have something to add about the weight. Now this over here tells you what's inside the box. And yeah, see these uh, Swiss fire points? I got something to say about that here in just a second. Well, we got the foam insert, Swiss point tools, and on the back we got the Target warranty card at a claimed 21.0 grams. So I'm gonna double check that here in just a second, but I know you guys just wanna see these darts. Again, we'll start with the points. The fire points, are they sharp? Yep, I already stabbed myself there. But come on, that's a pretty good looking set of darts, right? The front end, I'm not too sure about. Kind of like a neural looking thing there. That might be a little harsh on your flights. On the back, we've got the short length Pro Grip, Target Pro Grip stems, and check out the new Barney flights. Pretty nice, right? So um, yeah, that's them. But what do you say we go into the next clip? And I'm gonna hit you with all the stats and dimensions you need to know, plus more. So here we go. Okay, there you go. Nice close-up look at the barrels there. We've got a lot to cover, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Starting up front, like we normally do, these come with a 26 millimeter Target Swiss Fire Point. However, same thing as in the Phil Taylor video, I'm calling an audible for the throwing part of the video. I will be using the 35 millimeter Target Diamond Pro Swiss Points. Those should be kind of fun. I may actually do a quick clip just to show you how easy it is to switch out points using the Swiss Point system. Now these barrels, 95% tungsten, the barrel length coming in at 47 millimeters even, and the barrel width right up front here, seven millimeters wide, and these obviously taper down towards the back, 5.9 millimeters wide right at the stem, so they're definitely a front-loaded dart. Now I did unscrew the stem, checked out the drill depth, and check this out guys, 21.5 millimeters deep, so like I said before, they come in 21, 23, and 25 grams, Where's the love for the 22 gram people? So, because these are drilled out so deep in the back end, you could easily use some tungsten putty. And there you go, there's your 22 gram set, if that's the weight you use. Now, as far as the match weighting on this goes, you saw the warranty card in the last clip. They were claimed 21.0 grams. The match weighting was so good on these things. I've got an entire clip for that. So, let's roll into the next clip and you're gonna see how amazing this is. Okay guys, when I break out the scale, you know it usually means something pretty good, right? So let's check this out. Advertise as 21 grams. That one is spot on. The second barrel is 
Oh, look at that. 21 grams. Could it be? The third barrel. Oh, look at that. Only the, I believe, third time that has ever happened on my channel, these darts are advertised as 21 grams, all three barrels, spot on, 21.00 grams. Perfect. Match waiting. Yay! Now, honestly, though, way to go, Target. That is the quality that I would expect from you guys. That is incredible to see. Well done, Target. Okay, so hopefully most of you watched my Phil Taylor darts review from just a couple days ago. And if you did watch that, you'll know that I repointed that set of darts, entire set, in less than 30 seconds. Now, I'm not going to do that here, but I did want to show you how easy it is to use this Swiss point system. So you see the point here, and it's got these notches right close to the barrel. And that's all you do. You slide on the Swiss point, hold on kind of tight, give it a spin, and they come right off. So you can spin them out with your hand. And there's the threads on the Swiss point. Pretty aggressive looking point as well, right? Wow, look at that thing. So basically that's one of the reasons why this Swiss point system is so nice because let's say you're playing at home and you're using a smooth point. You don't want to batter your dartboard, right? But you have an important league match coming up or an important tournament. So you want some points that are a little more aggressive. So look at that. I mean, you just witnessed me change out a point in seconds. So, I mean, that's one of the good reasons. And you know, to be honest, I used to not be a fan of the Swiss points, but they've grown on me. I quite like them now. They're convenient, you know, just easy to switch out a set of points. You don't need an expensive tool. You just need this little piece of plastic. So that's it, guys. There's the Swiss point system. I quite like them. But what do you say we go into the next clip and I'll tell you everything you need to know about the grip on these things. Here we go. Okay, so let me show you the grip here and I'll tell you how grippy it is. But first, I have to tell you where they came up with the idea for these darts. So, if you look up above, we've got the RVB Gen 4s, right? So they took those darts and then combined them with a coating of the Target Echo series. And then this is what you end up with. And I gotta admit, you know what? I think these look way better than the Gen 4s. You know, forgive me, but those Gen 4s, Kind of hideous in my opinion, but this kind of looks nice. You know, dark gray coating up front. Although not a fan of this knurled nose cone, I think that's just going to destroy your flight, isn't it? How could it not? We've got these two wider bands of knurl, and then basically we get the smooth section with multi rings going out for the rest of the barrel. Not overly grippy, to be honest. I think this coating kind of softens the feel to the dart. So, you know what? I'm going to give these a grip level. 2.9 on a scale of 1 to 5. But yeah, look at that front end. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. I am personally not a fan. Rest of the dart, though, kind of nice. So, um, yeah, we're going to throw them almost as you see them here. We got the 35 millimeter points, so I'll be using them. And I guess um, that's it. We're going to use them exactly as you see them right here. So let's get these things on the board, see how they fly. Okay, ready for this one, guys? I um, hope I didn't waste all my good darts and warm-ups. I just had a fantastic warm-up, so hopefully that continues now that the camera's on. But yeah, here we go. Five throws with a brand new Target RVB 95s. Do I get to say the rest of the name? X, Echo, SP? <laughs> now, I do want to say something just because it's, I guess it's fresh in my mind. You guys know I've been using the Phil Taylor darts the last couple days, right? Oh, and look at this. Mm, just skipped high. So I've been using the Phil Taylor darts the last couple days. Now, if someone was to ask me if I had to play with that set or this set for the rest of my life, which one would I pick? Well, to be honest, it's not even close. These things all day long. Those Phil Taylor darts, they're tricky to throw. 41 millimeter long barrels or 41 millimeter short barrels, small flights. It's, it's just a difficult dart to throw or to throw well. And I know I throw them okay in the review, but now that I have these in my hands, it's just, this is much, much a, um, what do I say? It's a much more normal set of darts. Feels pretty normal. The front end's a bit weird. I mean, really, that's the only drawback for me is that Oh, that knurled nose cone. I really think that's going to chew up your flights. 
I mean, I'm not really seeing it here, but you guys know the uh, Condor Axe Neon. It's a popular set of flights. They're expensive, so I would hate to see this nose cone chew up your brand new Condors, so, or any flight for that matter, so. Yeah, I don't know. Time will tell. Yeah, it's just comes off the fingertips pretty nice. And I'm actually using a, a front grip. Ah, oh, there it is. Third dart saver. So yeah, I'm, I'm using a front grip. My pointer finger and thumb are on those two wider knurled sections on the front end. Feels pretty good up there, so. And you know what, I mean, the, the multi-rings on the back end of the barrel go all the way to the stem, so rear gripper, front gripper, middle gripper, I don't know, because of this smooth section, but for front and rear grippers, perfect. How many was that? Three? We got two more turns. Mm -mm, can I get under that? I'll try. Oh, I think that went in. Oh, yeah. I thought that was a treble five. Yeah, so that's, uh, you know, the price may be another complaint, but again, it's it's RVB. It's Raymond Van Barneveld, five times champion of the world. You're going to pay a premium for his darts. And, you know, there's a there's a lot of milling on here. There's a lot of machining. There's the coating on here. So, I mean, I guess, I guess. Last throw, though. And I hope you guys like the new camera angles, the new um, the camera quality as well. Thank God for that deflection. I've been getting some good deflections with these things too, so it's always a bonus. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> that last dart kind of banged off the, the one in the treble 20 and went right in the five. So, hey, there it is guys, five throws. That was, that was halfway decent, I guess, no complaints there. Um, yeah, great. Great overall set of darts. If you don't mind the price, if you're a big fan of RVB, by all means, I think this is probably one of my favorite sets. I just know they, <clears throat> excuse me, they look a lot better than his Gen 4 darts. So I'll give them that, right? So we're gonna do things a little different at the end here. We got the new camera. I have an awesome camera angle for the 180 that you're about to see. I'm gonna give these things a rating and that's gonna be it for the video. So enjoy these next, well, one clip later. That second dart get in there. Boom. That is a tight 180. Wow. Holy crap. 35 millimeter points for the win, guys. I'm telling you, you guys gotta believe me on that one. Just makes everything easier. Like I said with yesterday's video with the Phil Taylor darts. Huge day and night difference with these points. Well, there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed the new camera angles I've been working on. I hope you enjoyed this video so far. And if you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. But now comes the time of the video where I get to give these things a rating. And I tell you what, I really like, I really like these darts. I think the grip's fine. Or let me back things up a little bit. I get to give these things a rating on how well I think they're going to work for a recreational dart player. So yeah, honestly, I think most people are going to be able to throw these darts really really well it's just a well-made set of darts you saw the perfect match waiting that was absolutely unbelievable however we are running straight into a brick wall with a price on these things i mean it's a hundred dollar set of darts so for a recreational player that might price them out of contention but regardless the barrels themselves they are going to work well for everybody so i got to give them a good score i'm going to give these things ready for this 7.9 out of 10. I think that's a fair score, can, again, considering the astronomical price on these things. And they got a little more expensive and they gave you the cheaper stems as well compared to the Gen 4. So there is that. But um, hey, I guess that's it for the video, guys. I don't feel the need to give you a close-up of the 180 because that camera angle I got going on there should be pretty good. So again, if you enjoyed the video, 
I would appreciate a thumbs up. But you know what? Even more important to me, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you like the new camera angles, if the quality has improved, any sort of feedback is, um, yeah, I'll, I'll take any sort of feedback I can get. So until next time, guys, we'll see you. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to do this different. Well, yeah, until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later. Why you think they